Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX update. Well, hey everybody, I'm back out at the Boring Company here in Bastrop, Texas. And this is the Hyperloop Plaza behind me. And the reason why I came out today is because of some of the new construction that is going on here. And in particular, uh, hopefully the sun won't be too bright, but you can see behind me there's the new structure that is being added here to the Hyperloop Plaza. And uh, this is uh, one of those structures that I had mentioned on my previous video about uh, the construction beginning. And as you can see, they're going vertical now, so they have the steel beams and columns being put up. They have this pretty large slab, and it's just to the uh, side of the Hyperloop Plaza itself. And as I turn around here, you can get a good idea of behind me, there's the uh, sign for Hyperloop Plaza as well. And of course, the SpaceX uh, Starlink facility behind me and there is a lot of construction going on at the Starlink facility as well particularly on that section to the side of it and what uh, you can tell is that there is a lot of grade work there's CFA piles being drilled and it looks like some large rebar cages are also being prepared so it's a fairly substantial addition or structure that they are adding here and of course all of this is in Bastrop Texas just about uh, I don't know 12 miles maybe 20 kilometers to the east of Giga Texas and it's all uh, kind of really closely uh, packed together when you think of Tesla the boring company and SpaceX with the Starlink of course the big news the movement of X headquarters here to Texas. All right, I'm gonna jump in here quickly and say that I have new information that confirms that this facility under construction is in fact for X. It's not the headquarters, but is the Safety X Support Center. Obviously brand new, they are hiring, starting with an agent. You can see the information here. And this puts into perspective everything that's going on. Now this map shows you all of the facilities, the SpaceX facility, the expansion for SpaceX, the new safety center for X under construction, the Hyperloop Plaza, and of course the Boring Company facility here in Bastrop. So this is a very fast growing uh, site and it's gonna be a lot to keep track of as time goes on. So without further ado, Let's get into the drone. Let's fly around and see what the site looks like. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. Well, welcome to the fast growing facility for three different companies now, SpaceX, Boring Company, and X. This is the construction site on the north side of the Starlink facility. So we're gonna start here today and try to get an idea of what is going on. There's the material staging just at the bottom of the screen and also the very large section of the facility that is being cleared. We see the Rebar cages for large footings. There's also some uh, drilling going on. It looks like that may be CFA piers that are being put in. Now we do know that there is an expansion going on at this uh, north part of the site. And this is going to be adding a kind of a kitchen, a laboratory, and some other facilities, but it's not big enough for this entire site. So something else is going to be built here as well. So it'll be worth to come back here in another month or so and try to get an idea of what's going on. But uh, in the background, we can see the Boring Company, the Hyperloop Plaza, and that new X facility on the upper left. And we'll get closer views of that here in a moment. But uh, what we are seeing, in addition to the preparation for the extension in the dirt section, we also see that extension that's completed on that uh, part of the uh, factory that kind of juts out on the left-hand side of the screen. That has now increased the overall size of the Starlink facility to about 650,000 square feet, which is about 36,000 square feet larger than it was originally. Now by the trees, there is a section of chillers that are used to cool part of the facility. The receiving doors are definitely being used. 
And also in the left-hand side of the screen next to that white tent, we could see a farm of Starlink dishes that were maybe being tested or doing some sort of developmental work. The middle bottom of the screen is that break area. It's kind of a, almost like a Star Trek type emblem, and that is pointing due north. And it looks like they have those uh, covered awnings for the employees as well and some of the food trucks. We also see along this roadway many deliveries underway in addition to that parking lot. Now the parking lot we see here next to the building, the expansion on the right hand side of the screen and the one by the road in the middle of the screen is an additional $2 million each. So about four to almost $6 million worth of new parking that has been completed. And as I continue to fly around here, it's a great view of the overall facility. And people ask, what is this for? This is to construct the terrestrial parts of the Starlink uh, items. That would include the mini and the dish and the routers and other parts that are not the satellites. That's done in another state. But this is for those dishes and the other terrestrial parts of the system. Now in the middle of the screen, there's two of the boring tunnels. One on the right is the Hyperloop test tunnel. The other one is another test tunnel that is incomplete, but they are being used by the boring company. There's a great view of the face of the Starlink facility and that parking lot along the highway, or at least this farm to market roadway. And again, a good view of the large clearing and the expansion that is underway. Now, all of this has happened in the last several months. At the beginning of the year when production began, uh, none of this was cleared. The most of the work that was being done is on that uh, kind of that extension that we see in the center of the screen. So as I mentioned, a lot of uh, work that is underway here, and I'm curious to find out what that will be like in the near future. But I'll continue to fly around a little more on this side of the facility just to give a good overall view of what it looks like here today. And uh, now I'm going to turn back across the highway. I wanted to give you a good look at the new facility that is under construction for X. Again, this is going to be that safety center. It's not part of the headquarters, although we do know the headquarters is coming here to Austin, but this is one of the first facilities for X, and it's kind of helping them establish themselves here in Texas. It's a lot of the materials that have been laid out on the grass, the rapid installation of the steel beams and columns for the structure, and that parking spot, which is going to be shared with the Hyperloop Plaza, will include... Uh, Tesla charging that will be open for the public as well as at the Hyperloop Plaza. Now here's a great view of the Boring Company facility. On the left is that uh, kind of that roadway with the artificial grass. It's kind of the main entrance into their production facility. That's that large warehouse on the left that says the Boring Company. In the middle here is where the concrete liners are manufactured. There are uh, several different kinds that are those curved trapezoidal types. Those form the tunnel itself. And then there's also a roadway surfaces that are more rectangular. And that's what we're seeing being installed over at Giga Texas right now in that first tunnel. It's a great view of the two tunnels. As I mentioned, the one on the right with that sliding door is the Hyperloop test tunnel. It can also be reduced in the pressure down to vacuum for testing as well. And the one on the left is still partially incomplete. And there's a great close-in view of what they both look like right now. And that Hyperloop door is open. The rounded Quonset hut is their maintenance facility. And where it says the boring company on that small facility is for additional tooling and equipment. The liner truck lane on the left with that red and right white striped uh, kind of depression, is where they do testing of the liner trucks. And the liner trucks, as we saw at Giga Texas, are what bring those concrete liners into the tunnel, allows the boring machine to access them and build the tunnel as it continues to bore through that uh, ground. So it's pretty cool. And they also do development work with the uh, liner truck in that area also. 
But the houses are for the workers, and uh, this has continued to grow. They've had more housing units installed. And the left-hand side of the screen, we see that uh, Snailbrook Plaza, which is also a recreation center with a swimming pool. As I mentioned, this very large structure is their main production facility. I did do a deep dive on how it is arranged and what is inside on a previous video, so I'd recommend you take a look at that. What we see on the side here is various components that are associated with either manufacturing the tunnel boring machines, which are manufactured in that large structure, or for the actual boring machines themselves. Now, what I do not see is the Proof Rock 3 that was used at Giga Texas and recently was dismantled and moved off site. I also do not see some of the silos and other equipment that was used at Giga Texas. So I don't know where all that went, but it is very interesting to see that it is not here at the Boring Tunnel uh, Company right now. As I pull away a great view of the overall site, the Boring Facility on the upper left, the Hyperloop Plaza and the X Safety Center in the middle of the screen, and the Starlink facility and the growth that is underway with that construction. I hope that you enjoyed these views of these uh, uh, facilities out here at Bastrop, Texas. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.